That time, it's a nice play design. They throw the football, it picks up solid yards, second and short. Boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. First down, pressure on every snap now. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can, and one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Second and ten. Beckham has got it and on a pass that had some heat. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Second and goal from the 10. Makes the catch. Touchdown. There's still plenty of time left on that clock, but the offense finishes off the drive with the touchdown pass, and now it's going to be up to the defense to hold up and force overtime. Yeah, it was an awesome job by the offense getting that touchdown, Jim, and you're right. The defense, they got to get psyched up here and come out and do their part and stop the opponent's offense. Baldwin's going to test the coverage here. Taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Seahawks take the field. The game is tied. And can this offense drive down and win it for them? Yeah, you got to be alert on the offensive side in situations like this. The defense knows they can't give up yards. They can't give up points. So look for them to take chances and be very aggressive. Second down after that pass play. So right into the hurry-up offense they go into this two-minute situation. Yeah, these guys, all these pros, they've been doing this stuff since they were in high school running the two-minute offense, so I know they're ready for it. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. We are tied, and this game has less than a minute to go. Wilson standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And it's caught by Curse. score the touchdown to take the lead late in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was a nice drive, and it was exciting to watch. Now, could the defense go out there and hold on to keep this game where it is? Makes the PAT. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Harris is going to start his return. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Giants' offense takes the field, and they are absolutely in desperate need of a big-time drive here to put points on the board. The one thing we do know, since you are behind, the defense most likely is going to be very conservative the first couple calls. So make sure you have play calls to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be very conservative on the defensive side. The Giants get a first down. The Giants signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The Giants come to the line. Fourth quarter with two timeouts remaining. And Jennings lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. He's got the catch. Eighth catch today so far. That's a timeout call. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. It's a two tight end formation. Back to the air here on first down. Looking across the middle, and intercepted! The Seahawks offense comes out for what is, in essence, just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And, Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field. And it's just, you think about it this way. A tough week of work, all the preparation and the practice, 
and you came through and got it done and enjoyed the moment. It was a nail biter, and there's no such thing as a bad win. And there is such, I would think, a bad loss, though, for somebody out there today like this team. Yeah, you're right. There's no such thing as a bad win. Wins, all wins have one thing attached to them. Man, that was great. And uh, but to lose in a close game and where it's so hard fought, it's really, really hard to take. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.